All right, now to change the tone a little bit, the death toll now stands at more than 5,000 from the recent typhoon that struck the Philippines. And as you know, WNWO has been leading the charge in local coverage. Our Jim Blue traveled to the island of Panay with a team of local doctors. And this morning, Jim and Dr. Richard Pat joins us live to tell us more about their experience and more about the good deeds you guys did. I watched the coverage and you guys were there for a full more than a week. Yeah, it took us at least, well, what, a week and a half, including travel. But we were there about a week. Right. Dr. Pat, of course, uh, was the team leader there, and uh, you, you organized this kind of almost at the spur of the moment, right? Yeah, the typhoon hit on Friday. By Saturday, we had a place to go, and I contacted other team members that have been with us on other missions and our associates at the University of Santo Tomas, and we said, let's go. Okay, so we sent, wow. it was about 11 volunteers total, is that right? right? 11 from Toledo. How did you gather up the Ohio. volunteers? I'm sure it was pretty easy with people around here wanting to help, but what did you do? Uh, we've been doing yearly medical missions to the Philippines and other parts of the world, and so I just sent out a mass email and text who can make it, who can't make it. Very cool. And uh, 11 were able to drop whatever they wanted, whatever they had on their schedule. What you're looking at now, the video is some of uh, the video that I shot at the clinic. Uh, this is the one in the rural health clinic. The little girl you just saw there uh, suffering from oh. a very, very life-threatening injury, uh, illness, I should say. Dr. Pat, what's her condition right now? She's stable in the hospital. We saw her twice. Uh, after that episode, we admitted her. Uh, she does have pneumonia, but she was receiving IV antibiotics that we started in the clinic, and her temperature came down nicely. We're still, we're still in the middle of doing a, doing a workup, trying to figure out what, what the cause for her abdominal mass is. So we ordered a CAT scan for that. Now, had, had she not seen your clinic, she probably would have died. More probably. If she had a high fever in, those situa in that situation after the typhoon, lack of medical care. She could be older than two years old and a little body like that can't fight that kind of ammonia off, right? Right, especially if they're malnourished. Right. Yeah. And, and of course, where we were was not the most severely damaged area, but we were, it, it did get the brunt of the eye of the storm. Right. The, most of the really bad damage was to the east, okay. but where we were on the island of Panay, it was, uh, it was still damaged. Here you're seeing Floor, who was one of the nurses uh, from uh, New Washington, and uh, she, uh, her house was leveled. Uh, the video that I shot right here shows uh, her house uh, as it's being rebuilt um, in that uh, situation there. That's what it looked like wow. before it was being re- I mean, there's nothing left there. Look at that video. Yeah. So that's, that, that shows what, what happened along the beachfront area. Wow. Um, just a lot of the houses were knocked down, like that one. There were uh, the powers out still, I believe, in that area, which has been. And they're not expecting electricity back until Christmas, hopefully. Wow. Uh, well, they, they need a lot of help. These guys, uh, the doctors who came from Toledo, provided a, a tremendous, tremendous help, and, and it really was a very valuable. A lot of effort, long days for you guys. It was, thanks. Well, I know that a lot of people here didn't have the means to go and travel over there and do what you did. So we thank you for our representation and um, right. to help and to show our love from Northwest Ohio. Oh, thanks. So, thank but they you. were very, 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 very generous in, able, in helping us to coordinate this team and pay for the medicines and supplies. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Jim. And we'll be back in the next half hour, I think. Yes, we will. Okay. All okay. right, thank you so much.